Okay, so whenever we deal with time series data, the very first thing we do is we plot the data to visualize any patterns, unusual observations, changing over time or relationships between variables. And uh, in order to do that, in this class, the very first thing that we do is we set up our data as time series object. And after we do that, we plot our data against time in order to observe various patterns. And a time plot of a time series enable us to look for any seasonality, any trend or cyclical behavior in a time series. We can also observe any unusual observations or missing observations by just plotting our data. Therefore, it is very important to start our analysis by time plotting our data and then we look for time series patterns in the time series and in this class i talked about three time series patterns the first was the trend pattern and we can observe an upward trend a downward trend or no trend in a time series similarly a series can also show us a seasonal pattern and a seasonal pattern is of a fixed and known frequency and then we can also observe cyclical pattern in a time series when a series shows ups and downs that are not of a fixed frequency that is why it is very important that we know about these uh, time series patterns because the model that we will build and the method that we'll choose to forecast will be based on these time series patterns so the first thing we do is we identify these patterns and then we use those patterns to build our forecasting model. Another type of plots that are useful are called seasonal plots and these seasonal plots help us to explore various seasonal patterns in a time series. Those cannot be observed or identified in a time plot. So we use uh, various uh, commands in the grammar for graphic package to identify these patterns using uh, seasonal plots and seasonal subseries plots. So far we were only talking about one variable and plotting that variable against time to observe various patterns in that time series. But sometimes it's helpful to explore relationship between two variables. That is whether two variables are positively correlated with each other, negatively correlated with each other, or there is no statistical relationship between those two variables. To do that, what we do is we scatter plot our variables. And a scatter plot helps us to identify the extent of the relationship and uh, the direction of the relationship between two variables. That is whether these two variables are moving together in the same direction or in the opposite direction or there is no relationship between the two variables. And then I also talked about correlation and the correlation also shows us the same thing. It shows us the relationship between two variables and that could be positive, negative or no relationship. And building upon the concept of correlation, we can explore autocorrelation in a time series where we are interested in knowing the correlation between an observation at time t with a lag value at y t minus k and the concept is exactly the same. We are exploring the extent of the relationship and the direction of the relationship between observations in the same time series. And based on this, we can plot these correlation coefficients using an ACF or autocorrelation function also known as a correlogram and we can look at the correlogram and we can identify various time series patterns that we talked here by looking at uh, an ACF or a correlogram and then any time series which do not show any pattern that is this series is totally random this type of series is called white noise and we can um, identify this type of series by the loomed box test. So this chapter was all about uh, time series graphics. We learned about time plots, scatter plots, and then we also learned about a very important concept of autocorrelation function or a correlogram. 
and white noise and how to test for white noise using the loom box uh, test. We're going to come back to these concepts extensively throughout the course to use these concepts in uh, several forecasting methods that we'll start learning starting from the next chapter. All right, I'll see you in the next chapter. Bye-bye.